Hello and welcome to another episode of Carbon Fibre Retro Fitment on the Aston Martin with King and Tyson Racing. Today, we're doing the wind mirrors. Now this is one of those upgrades that offers no value other than cosmetic and if you want it to keep looking great over time I'd heavily recommend PPFing a new part. The job itself is surprisingly easy and the list of tools you're going to need is pretty short. You might need a trim tool and I'll show you why you might not in a minute. You might need a heat gun or a hairdryer. Hairdryer is less risky for paint but needing that all together is just down to the condition of your existing adhesive. And the one thing you definitely will need is some 3M tape. Now before you get started, take your new part and put some 3M tape, two strips, around the inside edge, from the end to the end and right through the bend. One long piece the whole way around is great. And that's the only place you're gonna get any contact. So that's all you need to do to prep the part. Now I'll show you just how easy it is to get this old one off. The original part is held in place with a mechanical lock around this edge as it tucks under this black lip and then it slots into a few points along here. So what you want to do is tilt it away and then it will lift up. It should sort of pop out a bit. Uh, it might have a adhesive along the end here, like I said, so you'll want to use your heat gun along the edge and maybe the trim tool will help ply that off. But be careful of your paint, probably use a hairdryer to be safe. I'm going to begin the removal by pulling along this inside edge just to create a bit of space there. And now I'll get my trim tool in and work my way around. And in my case, that's going to come away nice and easily. You might have some adhesive around that edge, like I said, but in my case, nothing's there. Before I fit the new parts, I'm going to take the opportunity to clean up all this dirt and grime and then going to wipe down the whole surface, dry it off, and have a nice clean surface for the new adhesive to fit, which is gonna to stick to all of these surfaces right around the bottom here, and all these little elements that reach up to the surface level. Now that we have clean dry surfaces, it's time to fit the new parts, and that's simply goes on in reverse of how the old one came off. So we line it up along the bottom and then tuck it underneath that edge. There we go. Lovely. Tuck neatly under that edge like that. Squeeze it on so the 3M can do its job. Right then, that's job complete. And as it's on the outside of the car, I like to leave it for 24 hours just to really let that settle in before taking it for a drive. I'd recommend you do the same thing too. If you are doing the job yourself, comment below for any questions you've got. We're more than happy to help out with anything you wanna know. And as always, a like and subscribe makes a massive difference to us as a channel, as you know, and we really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.